Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so this is the, uh, the 8-bit computer thing. Um, it's been upgraded slightly. Um, it is now fully 8-bit, um, including uh, uh, all the memory and everything. So the, uh, the, mem the lower half of the memory is now 128 bytes. The upper half of the memory is now um, 256 pages, each with 128 bytes. Now, as you do, normal thing that have. Uh, you know, 32k of RAM in an Excel doc. Totally, totally normal. Very, very cool. Um, uh, and and it can. There, I I have written on the um, assembly similar thing. Um, this is using uh, custom ASM. Uh, so I should put that in there. Uh, this is just custom ASM. It's a real nice little thing uh, because this is, of course, a uh, fucking a custom instruction set. Uh, here actually is the uh, microcode. is good, good stuff. Um, but of course, I'm not doing it in the web browser. I'm doing it uh, with PowerShell. Well, not PowerShell. I'm just running it in PowerShell. You know what I mean. But um, this this program, um, this is the CPU def, um, just to define the instructions. And I have uh, banks set up here to make sure I stay within the proper areas. Uh, but basically, this program will. Uh, it's got a number of. Uh, multiplication problems that it will solve. Um, here's the actual multiply, uh, and it can uh, load and save to and from these things. Um, so the process for uh, doing it, um, if you run custom ASM, you can generate, uh, right, I changed the thing. Uh, you can generate uh, a binary dump. Um, you can also generate a hex dump, um, but in my case, I do a bin binary string, um, and then I pipe it through a separate program. Shit. Oh, what? Uh, what? Uh what? Ah, oh right, duh 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 duh. Uh I've changed name. Okay, and then this gives me um this gives me uh two separate things all comma separated and all that. Uh and I can just back them into uh, lower memory, just the comma, boom, and uh, high memory. Um, I only configured four pages uh, into the thing, but it doesn't even use them all anyway, so it's really fine. Uh, and this memory is pretty simple. Uh, it's just every group of three, uh, you have, so one to, uh, times two is going to equal whatever goes, and the answer goes there. Um, yeah, uh, and then over here uh, is the actual proper computer thing, um, and uh, uh, I, I I just have this um, let's see going into it's just reading from chip two um, these things just as a display. Um, basically, it's good stuff, um, and. Uh, I set up an auto hotkey script to automatically click the run button so I don't have to break my fingers. Um, yeah. Uh, 
you know what? I need to slow this down, actually, because uh, while I'm recording, it is too fast. I can reset this and reload all of the memory. A hotkey. Okay, let's try that again. It'll be a bit slower, but it'll be more reliable. Uh, yeah, it's working. We're running at about two hertz. You can see we already have um, the first, the first, uh, first multiplication problem done. Um, the uh, the multiplication um, code is real simple. It just uh, goes. Uh, it just adds the uh, the first number to itself, you know, the number of times as the second number. Uh, this would be a lot faster, oh, we got six. Um, this would be a lot faster if you, not a lot faster in this particular case, but um, if you uh, added, uh, it loops the, the number of times of the second number, adding the first number, it would be a lot more efficient if it were, What's the word? Um, it, yeah, it's adding three four times. It'd be better if it was uh, adding four three times, but you know, whatever. Um, we got twelve though. Um, each each uh, thing is you know, ten more cycles or so. Um, Yeah, it's a whole bunch. Back 20. I'm gonna, uh, yeah, mute myself. This, this can go.
and there we have it. Um, it has halted. We've calculated all of these fantastic multiplication problems. Um, they are stored in memory. Um, and uh, it wasn't wasn't too bad, I don't think. Um, I will uh, I'll probably upload um, upload uh, this uh, Excel doc and the Python macros and the assembly stuff and all that. I'll probably upload that to GitHub. Um, it I guess it's like mostly like I mean it's not done but you know it's um it's fully functional it's to a level that I am that I find acceptable um it could be somewhat easily expanded um I've uh, I've left plenty of room in the instruction set for expansion, not just by uh, you know having so much so many more bytes, but also by um, I, I've deliberately left room for a deregister as well. Um, right now there is there are a registers A, B, and C, um, and then the ALU uh, adds or subtracts um, register A and register B. Um, and if you add, then it goes in, then the result goes to A. Um, uh, and, uh, but you could very easily add a deregister and the microcode on the instruction set specifically leaves room here. Um, I should really write up this instruction set uh, properly because this is. Uh, specifically designed for the computer to read and not really so much for humans. Um, uh, basic, basically, um, well, I could explain it later, or I could just write it up, whatever. But there, there are spaces here, as you can see. Um, each block of four is one command, and uh, the, 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 the last two bits are which register. Uh, you're loading your storing or whatever into um, out register um, here uh, it gives us extra space the bits uh, the, the two la the last two bits are the uh, destination the uh, fucking yeah uh, whatever I'll, I'll I don't know what I'm saying anymore I'm so tired I'm, I, I, I need to again don't do drugs. <laughs>